with um, Jan Cook. Uh, and Jan has got two submissions. One uh, is on the LTP and the other is on development contributions. Um, and that's in the separate uh, document. So, Jan, if you'd like to come forward and take a seat at the end of the table. Kia ora and welcome. Oh, someone turn the microphones on. It's all right. It's done. Yeah. About my um, my concern about the um, Horse Rule Library closing hours. Um, I think that's pretty clear what I've written. I just ask you to keep in mind that Horse Rule is the most accessible library for many Peninsula residents, and the current 7 p.m. closing time um, gives us access uh, to that library. Um, the main thing I wanted to talk to you about was the land drainage rate proposal for rural people and to suggest that all residents um, benefit um, from land drainage and flood protection works is, is very creative actually to put it nicely um, but it, sh <laughs> it shows a pretty worrying ignorance of what actually happens in the rural area and much rural land actually provides a drainage service to the surrounding area in the roads including our property. Um, do you think it is council staff that work to keep roads clear and ease flooding and storm events. No, it is the farmers and the rural residents who are on their own in such events. And like my husband, don their wet weather gear and head out with shovels, chainsaws, tractors and whatever to clear culverts, drains and roads, um, the maintenance of which, um, frankly, is systematically neglected in our area. And I've noted in my sub the damage that we've sustained over the years um, due to that neglect. Um, so to learn at the 11th hour via a very long-winded letter that we should pay for the privilege of providing these services to you has really, uh, really got me going, I have to say, and quite a few others I think you've heard from. So that's, uh, I just really wanted to come and talk to you about that. Um, and I don't really have any more to add, I don't think, to, to what I had to say about the development contribution proposal. I think it's clear from your policy that... Um, such contributions are to pay for increased um, demand, um, not um, upgrades, which the wastewater treatment plant is. So that's me done. I, 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 I read your submission and I, I wondered whether that was um, a, a true reflection of what we were trying to achieve in terms of establishing appropriate development contributions across the city, depending on existing infrastructure. So I don't think it was to... But, um, yeah, I mean, that's that's obviously what we'll take into account. Mm. I don't know whether people have got questions that they'd like to well, ask. Well, 70,000 is pretty excessive. <laughs> well, in some areas, um, the cost to council infrastructure um, in terms of putting in additional, uh, addition, additional links to the infrastructure, um, there is a far greater cost in a place like Akaroa, which is at a distance, than in the central city, which already has a um, significant amount of infrastructure. And, and, and in this proposal, sees a dramatic reduction in the amount of development contributions associated with the fact that it already has the infrastructure there. So that's, that's the... Doesn't affect that, me personally, but... No, um, but that's the debate. I'm concerned about the effect that it could have on, on um, housing in Akaroa. This is future housing. So for a new development is what pays the development contribution. Yeah. yeah, Jay. Thanks, Jan. Hey, I just wanted to know if you had any um, response or thoughts about the, the, the notion that obviously we're asking rural ratepayers to pay the land drainage targeted rate, but um, urban ratepayers would argue, well, we're subsidising um, the Banks Peninsula the other way around. Uh, In what way? Uh, the, the hugely cheaper cost of providing infrastructure in, in the city and, and the larger rating base. Uh, what infrastructure? Because rural people don't get wastewater and water and those things. Um, this is going to be a charge on rural landowners who have to provide all those, already provide all those things for themselves. Right. Well, that's what I'm asking then, is what was your response to, to when people said that? Well, that's that? my response, I guess, that I don't, I don't feel it, that rural people are being subsidised. Um, by the rest of the city. 
I think, I think maybe the other way people, around, in fact. A number of people who've submitted on this have raised the point that you've raised, and I think it's a really powerful point to make, is the amount of work that is done by um, small rural farm holdings out in the, in the Banks Peninsula area that assist with clearing stormwater, assist with all of these other things. And, and, a, and a, we, what we've heard from other submitters is that we, 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 it's sort of like um, we, we're seeing it from a, an overall perspective of the, of the whole area of Christchurch and Banks Peninsula, its boundaries combined, whereas we're not taking into account what um, the rural uh, farmers are doing to actually assist supporting the yeah, infrastructure there's a lot generally. Of just getting out and doing it for yourself yeah. and a lot of a lot of voluntary work goes on in the rural area. We have because to we have to. That. I mean we're we're on our own. We have to look after yeah. ourselves. Really. Yeah. And I mean it almost seems you're saying on one hand, um, those who get the service pay for it in case of the development contributions, but on the other hand, um, you seem to be saying the opposite for the land land drainage. So yeah. I mean what is the no, well, look, th What's a happy medium there? Yeah, no, look, thank you very much and thank you for taking the time to come in and make the submission um, in person. We know that that can be challenging for people as well, so thank you very much for that. Right. I think I'll be talking to you again in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> On something else. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, Bronwyn Hayward.